G'day everyone, I'm Smokescreen and welcome back to another video and here we go with the opening round of the FIA Nations Cup for this exhibition series that's currently started and is going to go all the way through to the beginning of 2022. Now you probably already know what the combo is. So there's the combination there, you've seen. We're back at Special Stage Route X for an N400 race. Select cars with set tunes and the best cars, sort of the uh, Renault Megane, Volkswagen Golf and the Porsche 993. We're gonna go out for qualifying. So we obviously need a slipstream for qualifying. We were released out of the pits all on our lonesome. So we had to slow down to find a couple of guys here one in a golf and one in another um, again we're in the again as as you can see I, I guess I'm gonna just try and hang out of the slipstream a little bit or a little bit off the back of them because what we want to do is actually get ourselves a nice run up uh, at the start of the lap I kind of miss time it a little bit and I get a lot of my run up done before I actually even cross the line but I'm gonna overtake them because I saw this group ahead and I thought oh could I just slot in ahead of these two cars and just bridge the gap between the slipstream because that would put all three of us here in a very good position to pick up a lot of lap time from this massive gap but I think unfortunately for the three of us here that's all we've got and we're out of slipstream range by the end of the qualifying session it wasn't a very good one I, us only setting a 536 which is five seconds off the pace and that's all about the gap and the slipstream group that you have that's not really about speed or, or personal skill whatsoever so it was a bit unfortunate for us and that is some of the slowest times in the session we just couldn't get the lap time from such a small group you need a really big group to get a lot of lap time but we're going to see what we can do from the back of the grid but not before the nation's cup introduction Lovely as always, we meet ourselves on the grid. However, we are all the way in the distance. One of those three pixels towards the back. One of those is our car and here we go. So, what makes Special Stage such a meme race? Um, because it's not racing really, it's a slipstream fest. If, you know, we joke about Tokyo Expressway being, the, being a slipstream festival, the real slipstream festival is Special Stage Route X and for why it's in Nations Cup is beyond me. At least we're in, we're in an exhibition series this time, so the lottery of Special Stage Route X uh, is not really playing a part in the competition. But we know how important slipstream is, we just have to stay with the lead pack. As soon as there's a break in the slipstream halfway up the field, everyone at the back is screwed. And as we round over the top of the hill, I'm greeted by the very disgusting sight that there's a massive gap between 16th and 15th. So Diswood pioneering the second group has unfortunately lost us the slipstream. Now, it was actually some lag, he said, so it's not really his fault at all. But as you can see there, slipstream broken, that's, that's it that's the race over in the first two minutes. There's nothing we can do from here because the top 15 are all in a group. They're gonna be lapping way quicker than we can on our little group of six or so. At the back of the grid, I think it's actually a group of four or five because there's a couple of people way off the back that have obviously had a collision. But what we're gonna do now is at least we're gonna go through the final corner and have a look at some battling. A couple of people fell out of the group up ahead and we picked them up. So we've got Jono Stan in the group now. So around the final corner, you've got to position your car in the 
perfect spot. You've got to try and get yourself a run up as Meta 7 moves across and just gives the inside car a lick of slipstream and it lets a couple of cars pass. Jonathan gets up the inside, pushing his way through, not to end up getting pit walled and then moving across on me. He's a little bit erratic as we head across the line. I think he manages to fend everyone off on that particular occasion. Meta 7 taking out the, the win in the second group of 13th. Jonathan taking 14th. And us, I think we got 16th or 15th in the end. 16th, there we go. So, quite a difficult race. It's so difficult, as you can see. You lose the slipstream at the start. There's nothing you can do. That's the race done. Like, what else can you do? You can't catch up. If the group ahead is larger, it's impossible to catch up. So only 120 points, we're gonna have to go again. And that's exactly what we do. Yep, how good's that warm up? But let's go out for qualifying now. We actually set ourselves up with a couple of guys here with party chat so we can strategize and work together. That's something I didn't have in the first race. So part of the strategy was waiting in the pit lane in qualifying, going on the eight minute mark so we could all come out in our own little pack together and not be impacted by the guys up ahead. So quite a large gap and there was a group of like six or seven of us here and uh, basically we're gonna work together and try and set all of our cars up to try and get the best possible qualifying time uh, what, uh, at all. So here's the start of the qualifying lap, pioneered by Smitty. I was instructed to move to the right to try and sort of get rid of the Porsche that was in the middle of our group. But unfortunately for everyone, uh, unfortunately for me rather, everybody just follows Smitty and doesn't quite uh, doesn't quite sort of pick me up. So I end up losing a load of positions here and that is no good because qualifying at this track is really about just trying to not fall behind as many cars as possible because now all those cars that overtaken me because the qualifying lap has started, they've gained ground on me, which means they're all going to beat me in qualifying by default. So we're fast forwarding quite quickly here and there's an incident on the first corner. Atom has pitted someone. Oh, shit. oh no! Oh my God, I'm so sorry, Smitty. That was lag. <laughs> it was lag, I'm so sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. I wasn't prepared. At least take me to dinner before you dump me. <laughs> So some of the reaction from the party chat, obviously, it was unintentional, but nevertheless, uh, Smitty lost out majorly, and we all crossed the line. We didn't get the best group, but uh, we did quite well in the grand scheme of it. I qualified 10th, so I lost ground on a lot of the cars in the group, so that's why I'm quite far down the field. But for this race, we have one main issue, and it's in the form of a 911 Carrera RSCS that splits the pack that we all formed on party chat. Atom and I have been shafted and we've started behind the Porsche. Why is that a big issue, you may be asking? The Porsche is the best accelerating car. So what's gonna happen here is that it's gonna accelerate from Atom and I. Engine test, I'm gonna make the turn out when the hits second. Can you, can you guys wait to make your move until me and Smok are in a safer position? Because we are now at a stop. Never mind, forget about it. <laughs> ah, shit. Nah, no, I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm 18th back. Yep, live reaction says it all. That's that's all she wrote for us. The Porsche gapped Atom and I, and we don't quite have the acceleration in these Volkswagen Golfs that we've decided to use. Um, but we had the better top speed, which is why we chose it. But yeah, we just started in the wrong place. The Porsche doesn't quite have the top speed that the Volkswagen has, but it has the best acceleration to its top speed, whatever that may be. So yeah, it split the pack. Nothing we could do. Communicate to you what we're doing, Smok. That's okay. It's Tyler. Oh. Stay in it. Stay, well, in, it. stay in it. Yeah. Yeah. Stay left. Stay Let left. me know if you're clear of him. Okay. Clear. Sweet. Go right. Okay, we good? Yeah. Nice. Damn, uh -huh. this isn't gonna work. Good. Did, didn't quite work. It's alright. 
Oh, oh, we tried. That was anticlimactic. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, I thought I'd leave you with the live chat for the end of that one. Not really too much going on. I just thought Atom and I may may as well have a go. We had nothing to lose. But the main talking point here is massive congratulations to the Phoenix Seven boys at the front of the pack. One, two, three. Amazing hour, Twitchy, Tezar. Well done. And then uh, TX3 GTR latching onto the back for fourth position. As for us, 154 points. No good whatsoever. That is going to be the end of this video. However, that wasn't the end of the night. I have a third slot that we all did. Still on party chat with a couple of different people this time because the PX7 fellas all uh, all left the chat, obviously. They got their result and were done for the night. So we had a couple of different guys in the third slot. And my goodness, what a race it turned out to be. We'll have to keep an eye out tomorrow for that video. So not all is lost, you still get a good racing fix, and I hope that tomorrow's video can bring that. I was more just sort of setting everything up, introducing the round, and all that jazz in today's video. So uh, uh, tomorrow is really the video that you really want to see. But as for this one, do hit the like button if you enjoyed it, do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos and streams from me, do leave a comment as well. Questions, comments, and constructive criticism, as always, very much appreciated. But that's going to be the end of this one today, and that means that is it from me. So once again, I do thank you very much for watching. See you later.